Now, uh, for example, when a producer comes and tells you, you know, the lyrics that you are using is a little bit offensive. Of course, when he uses the word offensive or she, when they use the word offensive, probably because it's tackling something that is that has to do with religion, probably it's not directly about religion and it's not really uh, offensive to religion, but because it has a religious um, stance or touch or whatever, they just want to keep away from the whole domain, you know, they want to keep away from the whole thing so that nobody will misunderstand them. So the only thing that you can sing about is basically, I love him, he loves me, I left him, he left me, stuff like that. And um, of course, when it comes to sex, that's the, another thing. When it comes to politics and when when you're being a little bit red or leftist with what you're saying in the lyrics, that's also a problem. Uh, when you want to talk, for example, about, uh, let's say we have a problem with uh, hiking the prices of oil in Jordan. You want to sing a song about that. You know, I don't think a producer will come and tell you, you, you know, I'm going to give you the studio and everything you need and now you can record. That's out of question. Because they will they feel probably that they will have problems with the authority. And, you know, I think that this fear is imaginary because you need to test yourself first before actually coming up with a conclusion that you will be in conflict with the authority. Okay, let's produce something. Let's put it out there and let's see how, what happens. And let's be pioneers in that. And if we run through problems, okay. You know, that's part of the, changing the authority also. It's a, it's a, it's a two-way street. You know, you can't just sit in your closed cocoon and, you know, feel that you have to protect yourself from imaginary scenarios that you haven't tested on, uh, on real ground. Because a certain type of music is gets rejected in the Arab world, especially when it's different and when it does not conform to the, you know, to the mainstream, this affects a lot of musicians who would have had a future, who would have had a chance to to not only express themselves but actually create a wave of change in their societies. Because when you express yourself, basically. You're, you have an audience, and your audience are people who identify with you. Sometimes you speak for them, even if you don't mean it. You're not like you do a survey, what do you feel, what do you feel, and you go and, and sing it. Just because you are part of this society, and just because you are re rooted here, this is enough uh, a, a reason for you to be an, uh, an agent of change. Because... You, you, you experience the same experiences so many other young people from your age, from your uh, background experience, and you're voicing probably something that would resonate with 10 people, 20 people, 
and they would become agents of change as a result and they would not only spread your music talk about these ideas and be encouraged by your braveness by your courage of actually saying what you have to say even if they don't um, really believe in what you're saying it's the it's the way it's the attitude it's the approach to things that changes things it's not only the message itself it's 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 the fact that you are actually going out there and saying whatever you want to say this is you know we don't have that so no wonder <laughs> we have problems with democracy and changing our societies and we have all these conflicts between the young who, who always feel that they are on the margins of society and they don't have a voice and even when they get a chance to have a voice it is within boxes and you know limitations that other I don't want to call them adults but authorities come and tell them what to do you express yourself but within these limits <laughs> control self-expression. Self-expression is as raw, as stupid, as nonsensical as it should be. It should go out there and then the person, by interacting with people, you have your own inner journey and trip and you start changing things and then things happen. But you can't tell me that uh, I have to stay within a closed box and uh, and I will change things or I will become, or I will exist, you know, it's an existential matter. Self-expression is an intrinsic, it's, it's, it's you, it's, it's your existence in the universe, it's how you perceive the universe, it's how you perceive religion, it's how you, it's how you see other people, it's how you uh, in, uh, accept or, or reject tradition, how you interpret it, so self-interpretation you know, as an individual, each one of us interprets things differently. So you cannot tell me that I, I should look through the same glass that everybody else is looking through because, you know, we're not a factory. This is life. Life is all about diversity. You know, I'm becoming sentimental now, but living is, is the details of the day. It's how you see every single breath, every single thing you do in your life. It's yours and yours alone. So um, I don't understand how, you know, someone else can come and censor you in any way, music or any kind of censorship. I'm not saying, okay, you will have that argument, oh, it's a jungle and everybody will be killing everybody. You know, I think that's a lame, very lame kind of um, uh, argument. Self-expression, it's not killing people <laughs> and going out there and... Self-expression is self-expression. It's, it's saying what you have on your mind.